Hi friends, in this video, we will be talking about the adder circuit. If you have been following our channel, you would remember that we have covered a video which walks you through the addition of binary numbers. Typically, addition of binary numbers gives us the sum term and the carry. If in case you need to revise your concepts of adding binary numbers, the link is provided in the description below. But don't you worry, this video will be sufficient to get the drift of the concept. So getting back to this video, adders are basic building blocks of any digital electronic device. You can use them to make your own calculator. Adder circuits make arithmetic and logical circuits called ALU to compute the binary addition operation on bits of data. Adders are of different types starting from half adders, full adders and ripple carry adders. Let us understand the half adder. The half adder circuit is useful when you want to add one bit of numbers. We all know by now one bit takes two values, zero or one. Let us refer to the classic truth table that we all use when two variables a and b are of one bit each. Here sum indicates the value operated upon addition and carry indicates whether there has been a carry or not by adding the two numbers. Let's add them. 0 plus 0 is 0 with of course no carry. 0 plus 1 is 1 with no carry. 1 plus 0 is 1 again with no carry. However, 1 plus 1 as we know in binary systems, the sum is 0 and there is a carry of 1. Also there is one more trick to find this. If the number of terms to add contain odd number of 1s, the sum is 1. And for even number of 1s, the sum is 0 and carry is 1. Now I want you all to analyze the truth table for sum. We see that when variables a and b are both 0 or 1, sum is 0 and when a is 0 and b is 1, or for a is 1 and b 0, the output is 1. This is the truth table for the XOR gate. Let's present this equation using the XOR gate. Let's take a and b and connect to an XOR gate. The output is the sum term a XOR b. Now analyze the truth table for just the carry section. If you all remember the video on basic gates, this is the truth table for AND gate. Let's represent it using an AND gate and that's our carry expression. Another way we can find the Boolean expression is by KMAP. Let's represent this column which is for the carry using it. We will take a 2 input KMAP, the inputs being A and B. Let's update it, group it and write the Boolean expression. Here 1 is present for A and B. The expression for carry is A and B. Let's update the KMAP for sum. Let's group the terms. Well, no grouping here. And write the expression for this term. This is A and B bar. Since A is 1 and B is 0, so while writing the SOP or sum of products, we represent it as A and B bar. This term here is A bar and B. We will take both these terms and sum them thus writing the sum of the product's expression. A and B bar or A bar and B is nothing but A X or B and that is our sum expression. And if you notice the KMAP for sum, it is quite peculiar. It represents a checkboard configuration. Here no grouping is possible since the ones are represented in the checkboard style. If you see a KMAP like this, simply XOR the terms. In this case, it is A X or B. You can write the Boolean expression for this and solve it and derive to the same answer. A half adder is built using just two gates, an AND gate to give us the carry term and the XOR gate to give the sum term. One more thing to remember is that the half adder does not take carry from the previous sum. The answer to this is that the variables are just one bit. Hope you have understood the half adder circuit. In the next video, we will see full adders.